but we need two to tango. We have 51 votes in the Senate. We need 60, unfortunately, because we have the ridiculous filibuster rule. So we need 60. And I think I'll get four or five or six from senators, frankly, running in states where I won by 25, 30, 40 points with Mike. And I think we'll get six senators. Maybe we'll get seven senators. That still doesn't get us to 60. So there's nothing you can do to get there. And people don't understand that. When we have a majority in the Senate, we have a majority by one, but we need 10 votes. So we need 10, essentially, we need 10 Democrats. Not going to get them. They're told by Schumer and Pelosi, don't do it. Because we want to see if we can pick up seats. They don't care about the children. They don't care about the injury. They don't care about the problems. They don't care about anything. All they do is say, obstruct. And let's see how we do. Because they have no policies that are any good. They're not good politicians. They got nothing going. All they're good at is obstructing. And they generally stick together. I respect them for that. That's about it. Their policies stink. They're no good. They have no ideas. They have no nothing. The Democrats. All they can do is obstruct and stay together and vote against and make it impossible to take care of children and families and to take care of immigration. We should be able to make an immigration bill that can really solve the problem, not just this. This is one aspect of it. This is one very important but small aspect of it. We should be able to do a bill. I'd invite them to come over to the White House anytime they want. This afternoon would be good. After the cabinet meeting would be good. They are invited officially. I'll let you do the inviting. Let the press do the inviting. But we have to do something about immigration in this country.